I'm Ben Nooling. I've worked for about 30 years with satellite communications in various areas. Ultra HD is an evolution of HD. HD started around 10 years ago when we got the flat screens and we also went digital, of course. Ultra HD is four times better than HD in resolution. Uh, I'm Chris Forrester. I'm a journalist and consultant based in London. I specialize in satellite broadcasting. Um, I think ultra high def uh, 4K is a natural progression for, for broadcasting because it's appealing, it's attractive, it gives more information to the eye. It's, uh, it's, it's a fabulous uh, concept. High definition, still only capable of resolving to just under 2,000 lines. Ultra high definition takes that to almost 4,000 lines. So it is significantly uh, more detail, much, much more detail. You'll see less violent cutting of the image because the producer, if the producer is sensible, will let the eye do the work. There's much more detail, there's a richness of detail in 4K that you don't get in 2K. My name is Stefan Heimbecher. I'm head of innovations and standards at uh, Sky Deutschland. So in this early phase one, as we like to refer to it, where it's only the more pixels, we try to experiment with things like different production style, especially in the live uh, uh, section, whether that's live sports or concerts. But in, in the mid to long term future, there will be other parameters that industry will improve, which affects both picture and audio quality. And as far as the picture quality is concerned, these are parameters which are independent how far away you're sitting from the screen. So you can also experience, if you're 10 meters away or even further, just higher dynamic range, uh, things like extended color range, advanced audio, higher frame rates and such. So this is all, all stuff that the industry is currently looking at and which will eventually yeah, increase the, the quality improvement of Ultra HD even further. I think this is the, the key trigger for, for the long-term success of Ultra HD in the end. The 4K take-up is already much faster than the initial take-up of high definition and that's what's happening in the industry today. So I'm very confident that the 4K ultra high definition will happen the same way that color happened. Ultra high definition is already on air in many, many countries, uh, South Korea and Japan particularly. And I would expect by the end of uh, 2015 to see many, many services on air. Mass market, probably 2018 to 2020. And on the one hand, we're talking a lot about Ultra HD we're, and we're talking about bigger screens. But then, of course, we have also this trend uh, in the market, especially with the younger people, that you know they want to have everything handheld and uh, smaller devices and smartphone and so on, which is a complete opposite trend. Um, but they, they both exist and they both have a lot of uh, market uh, penetration. And, and when it comes to good old-fashioned uh, linear live television, then I think there's no way around the satellite. So I think it's been, it's been sad as that for, for so long now. And it's if you go to IPTV, for example, as I mentioned, uh, the capabilities in the IPTV networks are limited because you need to build out to all of the households. 100 megabit lines may do it if you have the capabilities and, and the, you have a smooth and very, very stable connection. Satellite still is the best way to do this because the satellite has it's a bent pipe. We have all the capabilities and we can see it all day today. So satellite is already there, proven and is the best platform to distribute Ultra HD.